Good morning from Jacksonville, Florida. Today we're going to talk about dispelling a, a myth that you can't have vegetated or living roofs on a sloped roof area because they'll wash off in the rain. It is raining today. Uh, steady, almost a hard rain. Definitely a cold rain. And what we've got is a couple of trial roofs here that we're going to take a look at. First of all, we're going to uh, step out in the rain and look at the amount of runoff coming off of the uh, asphalt shingles. So let's, um, whoosh, it is cold. You can see here, good steady drip coming off the asphalt shingle area. Now we're going to step back into, wow, step back into the, uh, underneath the roof cover here. Excuse me. And we're going to uh, look at the vegetated roof portion. Now, it's been raining all night, off and on, so the soil media and plants have had a chance to um, absorb plenty of water, and uh, we're going to walk up to the, the um, green roof here in just a minute and see how much water is actually coming off. I'd say we've had probably accumulation totals of about one half to three quarters of an inch. And we're going to walk over here now, and you can see it's uh, dripping off, but just minimally compared to the runoff from the asphalt shingles. So let's step back under the roof again. Whoa, that was lightning. So what we've got is plants and soil media that are grabbing the stormwater. Now what that does is accomplishes two very important things. It attenuates the stormwater flow, number one, which means it keeps that first flush from just rushing into the uh, uh, ditch into the river, St. John's River. And then it also cleans that stormwater. Now, I mean, the stormwater has picked up all kind of pollutants and nutrients from the air, smog, nitrogen, um, uh, carbon dioxide, uh, uh, what the plants are doing is they're grabbing those pollutants and they're filtering it before it hits the ground and runs off into the river. So next time you're thinking about can I do a green roof on my sloped roof? Absolutely!